We set out at first light and begin our ascent over the final mountain pass to collect wild honey. And not long into our climb, we spot a beehive. To get close to it, we have to carefully scale a vertical rock face. It's a nest of highly aggressive Himalayan honeybees. I can see the hive from here. Those bees are huge. They're notoriously mean, and there's thousands of them. Just trying to stay focused. The nest holds huge amounts of honey, as well as bee pupa, a dulong delicacy. But the bees will fight to the death to protect what's theirs. I put leaves in my ears to prevent the bees from getting in there when they swarm. They're doing a, a thing called shimmering where they all in unison flap their abdomens. It basically means that they know we're here and they're ready to defend what they have. One of us has to go up there and get the honey. So I volunteer. But the hive is clinging to an overhang high up in the valley wall and the challenge to even get to it is immense. So we're just barely perched on this granite cliffside. So we're making this ladder something that I have confidence in because if this ladder breaks, I'm gonna be falling potentially hundreds of feet. Straight birch trees make the frame and the steps are bound in place by thin bamboo strips. Now, one final preparation. Smoke is going to be my lifesaver. It'll subdue and confuse the bees when they try to launch their attack. The guys have stuffed a basket full of green vegetation and dried leaves. And once ignited, we raise it up to the hive. The bees are flying all over the place. I can see that the smoke is doing the trick. Ah. Oh, they got me. Ah, oh, they, they sting hard. Now they're falling fire. <coughs> it's doing the trick, but <coughs> really hard to breathe. <coughs> as soon as the smoke clears, it's time for me to make my move. Bees start fighting back. Oh, the bees are huge! These are the biggest bees I've ever seen. Ah, ah. You just gotta muscle through the stings. Ah. Chan is urging me to go higher. The nest is just beyond my reach. I've gotta take another step. The pupa are stored at the bottom, so to collect them, I have to cut through the hive. They just pierced that comb and honey's just dripping out. I catch it with my bamboo container. I'm just trying to get as much of that honey as I can. My final job, to reach even higher and scrape the honeycomb from the rock. Oh my God, I'm just covered in honey and bees and I'm sticky everywhere. I think we've gotten all that we can get. Okay. That's getting the honey the hard way. Woo. My hands just ache from being stung, but this whole thing is just solid honey. And this, the bottom part of the comb is wax and pupa. None of this stuff is gonna go to waste. Before we start our journey back to the village, we have a taste of our prize. I am just a sticky mess, but 
Hey, can you come here? No. Well, amazing. Tinis ko ako si Kaisa sa. The sweetness. The sweetness of this honey is like peach flavor. Like I've never had honey like this at all. Hmm.